Welcome back to Marketplace Middle East. We're in the heart of Dubai's financial district, the DIFC, where banks sit side by side with law firms. But as you can see as well, there's a space carved out for art galleries. I had a chance to speak to the chairman of one of those, the Opera Gallery, who's been on the ground for the last five years. I asked him how tastes have evolved during that time frame. If you compare, you know, the mentality of the buyers in, uh, in Dubai, it reminds me a little bit of the mentality and uh, of the buyers also in Southeast Asia, you know, around 20 years ago. But the taste evolved very, very fast. And people now, you know, they are more and more mature. They are more and more, uh, they have more and more knowledge, you know, about art, you know, with internet, with all the fairs, all the galleries, you know, there is all over the world. And I think that the taste from the people here are now more, more strong and they know exactly what they want, you know. Uh, we're on the contemporary floor here. Give us a sense of why you've put these artists on this floor to match the buyers of the region, would you suggest? You have a Moreau here, uh, Islantic modern artists. W what's the collection represent? At, at, uh, at this time, so we, have, um, we are making an, exhib an exhibition. The theme is Vision of Abstraction. So we tried to, to put, you know, for this show, a contemporary um, artist. We have here on this wall a huge painting by Catherine Fredericks which is a young contemporary artist, you know, from Iceland. Mm. She's living in Paris, she's 40 years old. She's a master, you know, of abstraction. I love her work, you know, it's very lyrical, vibrant colors, it's freestyle. And um, I love her composition, you know, which is uh, completely unique in abstraction. We decided to make this exhibition uh, during our Dubai, because first, you know, we love the artists that we are exhibiting. And uh, we think we never did an exhibition here in Dubai with, um, with uh, such a big uh, environment of abstract artists. Mm. And there is a huge demand in Dubai, but also in other countries. The art that you have from the region, Syrian artists, Iranian artists, Egyptian artists, does it represent the transition that the region's going through right now with the post-Arab Spring environment, even Iran opening up. What's the demand for that art, would you suggest? We have, we have a huge demand, you know. We, so the concept of the galleries we have is all over the world, is to exhibit contemporary artists from everywhere. An artist has no country. I mean, an artist is an artist, you know. So we are exhibiting also Middle Eastern artists in our galleries, you know, in London, in Monaco, in New York, in Singapore. Uh, we've seen quite a dramatic change uh, in Qatar with the building of museums, Art Dubai here in the UAE, the Louvre being built in Abu Dhabi. What influence are the ruling families having on the global art scene today? They have a very big influence because first uh, they, are, they are buying many, many paintings. So some of them, you know, they are making the market, you know, like the Qatar family, you know, they are buying a lot. They are buying for one billion euro a year. and. Most of the people all over the world, you know, when, when, the, when the government, you know, is interested, you know, about art, it gives, uh, how do you say, envy. It gives uh, the taste to the people, to, to the normal people, to also get in this market and to try to buy art and try to understand art. So I think it is very, very important that the rulers' family in this region, you know, are, um, have a strong interest in art. This is good for for the worldwide market. Gilles Diane, once again, the chairman of the Opera Gallery here at the DIFC. And that's our coverage of Art Dubai 2014. I'm John Defterius. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.